If you're talking, they will hear you every single time. Oh, we're getting killed. Yeah, well, Kyle's not here. How come? Kicked off the team. Didn't Tim tell you? Kyle and some other kids got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Come on, it's a first offense, right? That we know of. But why should that matter? He knew not to drink. I've made it clear to Matt, that's what we expect from him. What have you said to Tim? Um, nothing really. You know, a lot of kids try it at this age, so. I... Yeah, well, a lot of kids don't try it too. I'm not saying that Matt's gonna be this perfect kid, but if I don't tell him what we expect and why he shouldn't drink, how's he gonna know? You think kids that age really listen? <laughs> they never admit it, Bill, but they hear more than you think. Talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with kids about underage drinking, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Welcome to the live action tonight here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Lady Senators host the number one, number one ranked in 1A Lanesville Lady Eagles who are the returning state champs um, from a year ago. Lanesville came in and won the regional here on this court so they're they're familiar with this court but they have graduated some of those girls so um, different different game tonight hopefully a different story from the last time these two teams played where Lanesville was victorious 52 14 that was November 19th of last year I'm joined tonight by my broadcast partner Mr. Ryan Bat. What, what are your thoughts about tonight's game? You know, Craig, I've been I've been uh, thinking about this thing. We come in here, what was it, t uh, Tuesday night or something? We had our first game here at home, and uh, we played three or four on the road. And I tell you what, I've been excited ever since. I've been thinking about it. I, you know, Wednesday morning I got up and I kept thinking, man, it's only two more days till the game time. You know, <laughs> and and throughout the week I've been thinking about it, and it's just in the back of my mind. I guess the, I guess just the excitement of it. Uh, you know, we we we're early in the season. We're going to play a number one ranked team, and you know, I I hate playing them. You know, a ranked team or this early in the season, but. I, I tell you what, these girls right here, I'm still sticking behind them. I think they're, I think we got a good team, and and uh, you know, like I said last time, these girls are smart, uh, they're they're athletic, they got everything going for them. We just got to put the pieces together tonight. You know, like we said, Lanesville is the number one ranked team in 1A. They ha they are on an 18 game win streak that goes all the way back to last year when I believe Cordon Central uh, got them about midway through the year. So, um, you know, they haven't haven't lost recently. Um, so far this year, of course, they're five and zero. They have, um, they haven't really been tested so far. North Central Farmersburg gave them a little bit of a test, 51-50 in a game there, um, but they they beat Rock Creek by 11. They went to Mitchell, won 68 to 12. That North Central game where they did come out victorious by one. Southridge they beat by nine, and then they went to Christian Academy, which is a common opponent, and beat them 68-27. So Coach Angie Hinton has her Lady Eagles firing on all cylinders. Overall, that, that's what Angie does. I mean, she's 121 and 19 in her six years at Lanesville, uh, 302 and 94 in 18 years you overall. Know, so I she's mean, watching Angie <laughs> coach is exciting. I mean, that, she gets me excited, and I'm not even cheering for a team. You know, I mean, I mean that 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 kind of coaching is my style. I mean, uh, she's kind of up on the floor, uh, you know, on the refs kind of quite a bit, and and just you know encouraging and and, and coaching and and you know mentoring your players as she's going along and, and you know I, I tell you what lady's got some fire and she's definitely got the respect of everybody in the house tonight oh yeah for sure for sure the the lady senators do come in four and one so we've got a one loss team and an undefeated team tonight um lady senators their one loss was to linton on that weird saturday game where you go over in the morning play a, a 11 o'clock jv game um and the, the Lady Senators have, have been victorious in the rest of their games. Yeah, they, they come out there at that Linton game. I was there, you know, just kind of like that, like you said, the Saturday morning curse of a, of a basketball game, and especially when you got to get on a school bus. Yeah. You know, Saturday morning's the time to sleep in and do this extra stuff that they don't want to do and maybe practice at 10 or 11. But, you know, they, they got up at – I know the bus left at 7 or so, at 7.30, 8 o'clock that morning, and they went and played, and they, they kind of come in. But they played a, a good-ranked team, that Linton, Linton team. Uh, that number two, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but I mean that's a real respect. The girl, she's she's a possible D1 candidate, I'm sure. But uh, uh, like I say, she had most of the points and, and everything there. And and you know, like I say, you take you take a, a ranked team like that, you know, another ranked team. We just talked about that there a few minutes ago. And and uh, you know, we're playing them early. And you know what, we got to play them sometime. We just was playing them early, but but at the same time, you'd like to get a little bit more momentum going and a little bit more stuff in your. Uh, figuring stuff out, being you know, on a young team that we are here, but you know it's it's uh, it's something we're going to take and we're going to go with. 
you know, and, and Lanesville is a sectional opponent. We're going to see them in that sectional 61 matchup. Um, Borden, probably the other top team in that in that sectional, if we're talking, you know, one, two, and then West Washington fits right in there. Um, you know, probably that third slot, if we're, if we're talking right this moment, it has to do with rankings at the moment. Lanesville number one, Borden number three. So, you know, tonight is, a, is the night to, for these lady senators to make a statement, um, and, and I'm sure it'll shock the world if, if the lady senators are able to pull this one off. They are definitely the underdog um, by most by most um, accounts out there. But the Lady Senators, you know, they've got nothing to lose. They can they can come out, they can play their game, they can play, you know, that fast pace that, that our um, sophomore duo likes to run with, with Jayla Bat and Meredith Deaton. You know, they like to get up and down the floor. They like to get out in fast break, in transition, and, and that's where Lanesville also likes to play. So we can see both teams, you know, matched up doing what they like. Yeah, and you know, I talked to, I was just over there on the sideline there a while ago, and uh, Jayla came up to me, and, and Shelby came up to me, and they was talking a little bit, and I said, hey, girls, you know what? I said, I said the Crozier girls are the leading scorer at Lanesville. I said, but guess what? She averages the same amount of points that you guys do. I said, she averages the same amount of rebounds that you guys do. She averages the same amount of everything that you do. I said, so don't be scared of one person. I said, you guys, are, you guys have been doing it for the past four or five games. Just keep doing it. Put your nose down. Go to the basket. Draw those fouls. You're, you're exactly right. You know, Lanesville is led by their junior, Hadley Crozier, um, averaging 18 a game, six rebounds, and 79% from the free throw line. Um, you know, and, and then it kind of goes to a balanced attack from there. You know, uh, Libby Sayer is, is – um, sorry, not Libby Sayer. Ava Kerr is their next um, leading scorer with 10. Um, and then they drop down, you know, three girls in the 6-7 range there. So, you know, they, they run that um, – offense very well and they get out and put up a lot of points i think they're averaging about 68 a game um you know so they they like to get out and run we're gonna have to stop somebody that's that's what it's going to come down to we don't we don't want to run up and down the floor with them we want to get some stops um and it's going to be a question of which which senator steps up and stops their girl from scoring yeah and, and then like we say we talked about uh you know what we're going to do, uh, talk to the girls a little bit. I said, what's your game plan? What's your game plan? Let's fill me in, you know, uh, go on the radio. Tell me your game plan. <laughs> I said, no, we ain't telling you. We ain't telling you. I said, I said, well, you better have a game plan figured out. They said, we do. And I said, what is it? They said, they said, we got to guard Crozier. And I said, I said, that, that's, that's an obvious. Now, what's your second case? Because even though if you're face guarding a player, you got to have a second. You got to have, you know, you're going to get a screen. Yeah. So what's, what's plan B? Because <laughs> is everyone well, know that we're going to do something different here? Everybody so. in the gym knows that Crozier is going to get her points. That's that right. She hasn't been able to be stop you know the past year and a half two years mm -hmm. um you know she's going to get hers so it's a question of can you stop that next level but yeah you're right you know you've got to you've got to stop game. the next level of of girls from getting their average you know if if crozier gets her 18 fine but somebody else can't chip in 12 you've got to right. you've got to stop that um next row which you know in in my write-up for the um press release which you saw today you you uh <laughs> You're yeah. like, wow, that's pretty nice. So the the press release it said that I think the, the this game is going to come down to our guard play. Yeah. You know, we're going to have to break their press. We're going to have to take care of the ball. Um, you know, I think Meredith's going to get her points. I think Jayla's going to get her points. The question is, do we have a third girl who can step up, and it's going to have to be one of our guards. Right, and you know, like I say, last game we had Shelby step up and have 15, 16 points, I believe it was, and then you know we rolled back into. Uh, you know, Ava there with seven or eight points or something like that, and it's great to have three girls in, in double digits. Yeah. But, but you know what? We get we we can't we can't say yeah we did that once. We got to do it every game. Yeah, something that um, is new tonight. We we are short two girls from our varsity team. They are not with us tonight. Um, so we've got the whole JV lineup on the bench. We've got all, everybody is available for all of the quarters. Um, so. It, we were a little worried watching the JV that we were going to have to use some of our varsity girls to finish that one out, but we were able to conserve those quarters. Everybody's good to go. Everybody's got four quarters that they can play. So, um, you know, it should be a, a good matchup tonight. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be great. I, I know, like say, we I hate to repeat myself, but, you know, we got speed, we got talent. When one person goes out, we get somebody to replace them. So, uh, you know, like I say, it's just a matter of finding out where where we are in line and, where, and uh, who's going to step up next. Lady Senators have taken the court. They are ready to go. We've got some final stretches going on down there on the floor. The Lady Eagles are also down on the floor. We're about a minute away from the national anthem and the starting lineups. You know, this is a game that 
we have had on the sched that we've had circled on the schedule for about a year because last year, um, you know, it, that game was not pretty, was not nice. We left kind of a bad taste in the lady senator's mouth, and a lot of those girls are back playing varsity this year again, um, another year under their belt. So I'm sure they're they're yeah, not wanting that to happen again. I think there's definitely some, uh, you know redemption that they want to they want to get back in and i think there's some you know them girls are excited down there uh they're high five and getting it on down there in warm-ups and uh i'm pretty excited about it i think ready to play ball well and lanesville brought a really nice crowd tonight along with their cheerleaders so yeah. we've got we've got cheerleaders in the house so we're gonna step aside um for the national anthem and we'll be back with the starting lineups in just a moment Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Banner wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Back live here on T. Kermit, in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court, where the Lady Senators do take on the Lady Eagles of Lanesville tonight. Lanesville starts a four-guard set. <clears throat> Um, which leads into the style that they like to play. They like to play that fast, up, up tempo game. So their first starter is number one, Jane Davis, a 5'5 senior, averaging six points, four rebounds. Second guard off the off the bench tonight will be Hadley Crozier, the 5'9 junior, averaging 18 points, six rebounds. Third guard is Ava Kerr, the 5'5 senior, averaging 10 points and four rebounds. And the fourth guard is Hilton Brumley. The 5'7 junior averaging six points, four rebounds. In the center, they have Ellie Schneider, the 5'10 senior averaging seven points, three rebounds. They are coached by Angie Hinton. <laughs> you, can, you can talk about Angie for days. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's been a winner everywhere she's gone. No different when she comes to Lanesville. Lady Senators start their same lineup that they've gone with all year long. They start number three, Emma Schmidt, the junior. She's a she averages 4.6 points a game and four rebounds. The second guard is Shelby Griffiths, the senior, averaging five points, two rebounds. And the third guard in their three-guard set is number 10, Meredith Deaton, the sophomore, averaging 15 points, six rebounds. One of their two bigs that they start, number five, Jayla Bat, a 5'7 sophomore, averaging 12 points and nine rebounds. And then in the woods is Ava, or in the middle is Ava Woods, the junior averaging six points, five rebounds a game. They are coached by Kristen Messamore. Girls throwing out shirts tonight. They're getting them long, long throw over there to the to the bleachers from where they are. Yeah, the kids get excited over those shirts that are entirely too big. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody needs a five X shirt in That's their right. uh, in their closet.
Ava Woods gonna, going to jump center with Hadley Crozier. I don't know how it's going to turn out, Craig, but I'm pretty excited. <laughs> well, we will know in about an hour. That's right. So, here we go. Lanesville controls the opening tip. Senators back man to man. Hilton Brumley doing the majority of the ball handling for the Lady Eagles. First shot is a missed three-pointer. Ava Woods unable to secure that one underneath. Lanesville going to 2-2-1 two, two, press. Center's got to be patient, work that ball. Good. Going to get an offensive foul here. Two, Ava Woods going to pick up her first personal. I didn't really see that. I thought you had to have control of the ball to be, become a fouler. Brumley comes up and sets the Lady Eagles in their offense. Comes across to Davis. Davis drives down the lane, puts up the shot, no good. Kicked around. Meredith Deaton going to get the ball out of there, but it's going to be a jump ball. Shelby Griffiths guarding Crozier. Doing a good job. He goes jail in the middle every time. Break that press. Interesting to see the Senators work some offense. Yeah. The Lady Eagles definitely have a length advantage here against the Lady Senators. So we're going to have to really make crisp passes or they're going to get picked off. They're dropping back into the 2 3 zone, it looks like, Greg. Woods. Swings the ball out top, back around to Schmidt. There's Schmidt over to Jayla. Jayla goes up. That one no good. Rebounded by the Lady Eagles and out the other way. Crozier down the lane. Kicks around. Schneider for three. That one no good. Deaton with the rebound. Pulls up for her own jumper. That one no good. But we're going to get a rebound underneath by Schmidt. And goes up and gets fouled. Going to go to the line. That's something that, that, that you know, Emma's, Emma's down there working hard, getting a rebound on one of the littlest girls on the court. Yeah, that, that was the littlest or the smallest girl on the court versus the tallest girl on the court. So, first one up and good for Schmidt. She is a 56% free throw shooter on the year. Emma Davis. Comes in, the 5'6 senior. Well, Greg, if the game gets postponed, we're, we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> we're up two. <laughs> Eagles come back the other way, set up their offense. You can tell that they're looking for Crozier. Crozier down the lane. Oh, that's a travel. Going to get a block. I think they're going to get Schmidt for this block. Her first. I can't believe the ref's telling the coach to sit down and she just asked what happened. <laughs> Crozier goes to the line, 79% on the year. That one up and good. She has a beautiful shot. Goes back to the line for her second. That one up and good also. Senators able to break the press. Jayla out in front. That press is designed to speed the Senators up, which is, right. is exactly what it's done so far. So One dribble to Schmidt. She goes up strong. I think we're going to get Emma Davis for her first. Schmidt back to the line, trying to break the tie here, 2-2. Two, two. That one up and good. 
She's the leading scorer in the game with three. Second one leaves it short, but Meredith comes out with the rebound. We're going to get a jump ball. You know, I'd just like to see Meredith hold that ball just a little bit yeah, longer right there. Just a little there. longer. I don't, I don't know if it's smart to throw into a five-foot. Some confusion down there, apparently. Thought it was a turnover, but not. It's a jump ball, so Lanesville with possession here. Crozier going to bring the ball up the floor this time. Breaks that pressure. Almost turns it over. Curve around the top to Davis. Davis back to Crozier. Hmm. Going to be a foul on Shelby Griffiths. Her first. We're five. We've got five minutes, 35 seconds left to go here, and we're getting close to that free throw. Yeah, we want to stay away from that. Yeah. Comes around the top to Kerr. Kerr with a nice pump fake down the lane. That one up. Able to knock that one in for her first two points of the night. Jayla starts to break the press, pulls back, gives it to Shelby. Shelby Griffiths crosses the line. Over to Schmidt. Schmidt on that far side, unable to get the shot in. Still a good attack to the basket. Yeah, we like that, that. That's exactly what you need to do. You need to attack the basket there. Meredith one dribble open at the free throw line. Unable to knock that one down. Waynesville throws ahead to Jane Davis. Davis hands off. Comes back around to Emma Davis. Around the top to Kerr. Senators playing good defense. Yeah. They're moving their feet. Trap, good job. Jayla gets a hand on that one and then knocks it off the first foot. Nice job. By her with the fast hands. Woods in the corner for three. And gets Gonna get fouled. bumped and fouled. I think they're going to get Kerr for this one, her first. So Wood's going to go to the line. 56% on the year. Maybe three shots, Craig? Yeah. That one's short. Two more. I think we kind of need the breather anyway. Yeah. Up and down, up and down, up and down. That one, nothing but net. Ties it up again at four. 4.19 to go here in the first. Knocks down the second to break that tie again. You know, I like to see Shelby play like where she is now. I think she needs to play off just a little bit. Yeah. I think Crozier's just a step or two faster than Shelby. Shelby's pretty fast, but... You know, that, that girl, is, she's pretty athletic. Yeah, that height makes a little bit of a difference yeah. there. Davis good for three. That was a nice shot. She was contested. Into Deaton. Deaton over to Griffiths. Griffiths ahead to Ava Woods, and we're going to throw that one out of bounds. It's only That's the first turnover for the Lady Senators. Definitely at an inopportune time there. Crozier down the lane again. That one up, no good. Gets her own rebound. Three point. Three. 
Ryan, did you see who got that last bucket? Uh, Davis. Jane Davis? Uh, number one. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Yep. That gives her six. I was looking down and didn't see it. Meredith with a nice power dribble. That nice one's move. up Gotta no finish. good. Ava Woods, nice job of getting the rebound there. <laughs> Lily Thompson comes in for Shelby Griffiths. Give her a little bit of a spell. Senators work it around the top, goes in the corner, and then turned over. Crozier comes down behind the back dribble. Yeah, we don't want to get in the corner against Lanesville. Yeah. Over to Kerr, across to Davis. Davis for three. Again. Bang. Somebody better guard her. That's nine for Davis. Already over her season average. So we're going to step aside, take a commercial break. We'll be back with more action here in just a moment. Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with a two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. <laughs> Back to action here where West Washington does trail 13-5 uh, to five to the Lanesville Lady Eagles. We've been guarding uh, Crozier really well, but Davis has been the one to hurt us with nine so far. Yeah, we've been, we're, we're doing a lot of positive things. There's nothing really to criticize. We just got to get out there on that three-pointer. The girls hit three of them in a row, and we got to stop her. Meredith brings the ball across half court. Looks to drive. Nothing there. Swings around to Thompson. Thompson over to Meredith. Deaton for three. That one up. It's no good. Lily Thompson with the rebound. Lily, again, you know, one of the shorter players on the team, and they're getting a rebound. That's, yeah. that's keys to the game right there. Doing Cro the little things. Crozier picks up her first. That's not a bad thing either. <laughs> yeah. Jayla wide open there for her first two of the night. Jane Davis over to Kerr. Kerr down the lane. That one up from Brumley. Brumley misses the three. Meredith Deaton with the rebound. That one blocked and then going to be out of bounds to the Lanesville Lady Eagles. Comes back off of Emma Schmidt. Crozier bringing the ball up with Lily Thompson hounding her. That was a nine seconds. It's a good thing she got over. <laughs> I was watching that ref's hand. In the corner. That one good for three. Emma Davis. The Davis trio is putting a hurting on us right now. Yeah. Kerr going to pick up her second. She brings Emma Schmidt all the way to the ground. You know the Kerr girl, we, I watched her play three or four times and then watched her in sectional tournament. She's, she's a go-getter. Oh, she's yeah. a hustler now. Yep. She don't do a lot of points on the board, but that girl right there plays great defense. So we're going to shoot free throws here because this is five. So Emma Schmidt going to go to the line. Where she's hit three of four tonight. First one up and good. Cuts that lead to eight. Second one up and good. Eagles bring Schneider back in to the game. She was a starter, but came out after about two minutes of play. So down a minute 19 to go here in the first. Davis again for three. Bang. Wow. They are five of eight from the three-point line. Comes across the top to Lily Thompson. Over to Woods in the corner. Woods unable to knock that one down. Rebound out to Lanesville. 
Avis should. took two three-pointers. I'm not sure that we need Avis shooting three-pointers outside of the outside perimeter. They worked that ball down and let her get it inside. Adele Brown comes into the game. In the corner to Davis again. Bang. <laughs> I would like to ask if we're going to guard number 15 or number one. <laughs> but I won't. Both, both Davis girls have nine points, all from three-pointers. Moves it out 22 to nine. Adele Brown for three. Short. That one's short. We're going to get a foul on Ava Woods. Gives her two. Well, that's one of those we've talked about Ava coming in and, and making some fouls that are unnecessary. I mean, the ball's going out of bounds. We don't need to get one on purpose. Number 20, Elena Schmidt going to check in for Ava Woods. 26.1 seconds left to go here. Senator's going to pick up full court man-to-man. -man. With a little bit shorter lineup now, we don't have two of our players here that typically play for us, so we're going in shorter lineup. Uh, Jalen Meredith being the tallest ones out there. Crozier drives into the lane, kicks out to Schneider. Schneider hands off to Davis. Davis looking for a three here. She's going to pull the trigger in the lane. Jumper at the free throw line. It's no good. So that ends the first quarter of play where the Lady Eagles do lead 22-9. We're going to step aside for a commercial break, and we will be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to live action here after that commercial from Ryan Batt and United Producers. Lady Senators, um, it's, it's been a three-point shootout, and the Lady Eagles have topped it. Um, they are six of nine from the three-point line. And, and just like we were talking in the break, Ryan, the, the Lady Senators have done a great job on Crozier and kept her from, from you know, really scoring. Um, got two points but the Davis girls have nine each. So. Right, right. And, and, you know, like I say, we're doing a lot of positive things. It's not, it's, we're, st we're still in the game. Uh, nothing to look back on. Those girls hitting those three-pointers, they, they all ain't going to fall. So they keep their head up, and we got to drive to that basket. Yeah. We've made a living off driving to the basket the past five games. we got to do it again. Lady Senators working their offense. Lily Thompson down the lane. That one up no good. Jane Davis handling the ball on the flying W there. Kicks over to Brumley. Brumley drives in the corner. Going to pick up a foul on Jayla. That is Bats first. Schneider takes the ball out underneath. Goes around the top to Davis. Back into Schneider at the elbow. That one up. No good. Going to be a jump ball there. Adele Brown gets a hold of it, but unable to get it out of there. So set up and do it again. Crozier looking for the ball there on that play. She went around. She didn't do it that time, but she was. She didn't like getting bumped on that. Snyder wide open in the corner. We're going to get a double dribble turnover. <coughs> Lily Thompson 
Brings the ball across half court where the Lady Eagles look to be in a 2-3 zone. And we're going to throw it away and give it right back. The girls got to slow down <laughs> and get their composure. <laughs> yeah. Think about what we're doing because we're doing, they're doing a lot of good things. Ball inbounded to Brumley. Lily still face guarding Crozier. Brumley drives, kicks to Davis. Davis for three. Bang. And see right there, that's, that's what there's no uh, – I don't think there's any reason to double team anyone else on the court besides Crozier. So yeah. whenever they're going to drive, I think we need to get it in our heads that we're going to try to do something too. Going to pick up a foul. I believe Davis is going to get that one. Makes the score 25 to 9. Lady Eagles out ahead. That one tried to get it into Jayla, unable to control that one. Lanesville knocks it out of bounds. Lily Thompson handling the ball out top, around to Brown, over to Deaton. Deaton for three. Bang. <laughs> Gives her first points of the night. Lily Thompson face guarding Crozier, just not letting her get the ball. Into Brumley. Brumley for shot at the elbow. That one no good. Well, Crozier's going to pick up that one. 42 nope. Schneider going to get that one. Her second. Kerr comes back in for Schneider. It's one of those things where you look up sometimes and you just see Elena Schmidt flying across the yeah. court. <laughs> yep. She seems to be a magnet for the ball. She always seems to be able to find it. Across to Deaton. Deaton step back. Over to Thompson. Thompson for three. Looks good. Bang. Lily Thompson's first bucket of the night. Brings the score 15-25. Lady Senators trail by 10. Nice sidestep there. Unable to knock it down. And she's out of bounds. Mad chase for the ball there, unable to control it. So Deaton going to inbound. There it is. Man. Jayla with a nice shot, unable to knock it down. Adele Brown down the lane. That's going to be Kerr's third. As we said earlier, that Kerr, the Kerr girl, she's a, she's a go-getter. She's yeah. the only one who her around, and she kind of got caught up in the ball as Adele went up. Adele, an 83% free throw shooter on the year, unable to knock that first one down. Second one up. It's good. Cuts that lead to nine. Electing to leave Kerr in the game. I say we better do something here. Oh, Meredith's going to pick up that foul. Swiped at the ball, didn't really need to swipe at it. So that's her first, team's second of the quarter. In comes Schneider for Kerr. Well, a two for two. We're going to try to get, we could also get try to get three on Schneider. Yeah. Get him. Comes around to Davis. Davis in the corner to the other Davis who misses. Schneider able to corral that one and then get the two-point bucket. Swings across the top to Meredith Deaton. Deaton looks, goes back across over to Brown. Brown out to Thompson. Thompson for a deep three. Bang! 
When Lily fills those threes, you need to get her the ball. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Lily's got that amazing shot that she doesn't even jump. <laughs> That'll be three. On Kerr. Or is that oh, four on nope. Kerr? They're going to give it to 15. They're going to give it to Emma Davis. Oh. Her second. We're going to get a timeout here. Full timeout. So we're going to step aside, have a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Back to action here on the Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do trail 27-19 to the Lanesville Lady Eagles. 427 left to go here in the first half of play. Lady Senators look a lot better in that second quarter so far, the first, first half of the second quarter. Yeah, I think we came out and we kind of got our bearings back together and we, we kind of got settled down and got our got our team, you know, kind of where we wanted to be, where we was calm, we was passing the ball, we moved the ball, got some fouls on some of their players and ready to go back at it. Meredith Deaton with the drive, unable to get anywhere. Over to Thompson. Thompson reverse pivot back to Deaton. Unable to control that one. Going to go out of bounds off of Davis. Stay with the Lady Senators. Thompson up top. Davis guarding her. Goes around to Brown. Brown looks, but unable to pass it all the way across. Meredith Deaton for three. Bang. Gives her six on the night, 22-27, Lady Eagles. Schneider handling the ball, nice drive oh, down the lane. Going to be a jump ball. Lady Center is going to get that on the alternating possession. You know, we got to keep them calm, Craig. We come back, we're, you know, 22-27, five-point difference here. Uh, it would be nice to go in the halftime. Lady Eagles going to switch, switch out of the 2-3 zone, going to go to a 1-3-1. One, one. Lady Senators do turn it over right off the bat there. Davis out on top to Schneider. Schneider dribbles to the corner for Davis. Davis first two-point shot of the night, misses that one. Lady Senators with the rebound coming back the other way is Adele Brown. Over to Thompson. Thompson. Dribbles towards that corner, off to Schmidt. Schmidt with the jumper. That one no good. Thompson going to pick up the foul on that one. Just got tangled up as she was going. Going to be her first. Crozier checking like, back yeah, in. Yeah, Crozier sat out a whole 40 seconds <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> Seemed like an entire game. <laughs> Ball comes into Brumley. Meredith Deaton gets a hand on it, unable to control it though. Comes out top to Crozier. Crozier looking to get by Thompson. Thompson gets yeah. laid out by Schneider. Schneider gonna pick up that personal foul. That'll be three on the Schneider. Yep. Careful. Adele Brown to Thompson. Thompson down to Schmidt. Schmidt gets that one blocked, but Jay gets it. Goes up for two. That one falls in. <laughs> Senators pull within three. 2.35 to go. Oh. Crozier down the lane. 
Going to get a foul. I believe they're going to get Schmidt for this on the on the far side. And that's where that's where you know I was getting ready to say you know as Crozier comes uh, through the lane there she was she was going to the basket no matter yeah. what and that's where you know the young Senators reaching in, stand firm, take that charge. Holy Thompson picks up that one. Crozier goes to the line, knocks down her first free throw. 79% free throw shooter on the year. Second one up and good also. Pushes the lead back out to five. Eagles going to come out in some pressure. Senators kick ahead to Adele Brown, who puts that one up no good. I, don't, I think we need to work that ball, you know. Get that ball working around. I don't I don't believe in the quick shot. Yeah. Trail, only, trailing behind. We're only shooting 22% uh, from two-point range in the first half. So we Get that ball in bounds. Into Jayla. Jayla, a couple of dribbles off to Deaton. Deaton with a step back three. That one spins for days. Unable to knock that one down, but a nice rebound by Schmidt, and then we're going to throw it away. And we're getting excited. Yep, that's our fifth turnover of the first half so far. 2.07 left to go. Ball comes into Davis. Crozier begging for that ball. Yeah. Nice back cut by her. Brumley drives around. That's a travel. Gets the ball up on the rim, gets her own rebound, and able to knock that one in. Three Senators jump three three seconds fast, and the ball comes right back down to the defense, offensive player. Meredith Deaton breaks the pressure, and then going to be a kick ball. You no, know, that's one of those things that we're throwing, uh, you know, a 5 7 sophomore is throwing down to a five foot sophomore yeah. under the goal. I don't, I, another thing, we got we to gotta work on some of our just small things. Going to stay with the Lady Senators. Luckily there, Matt, uh, Maddie Magner was able to knock that one out of bounds for the Senators. Ball comes into Schmidt. Schmidt off to Brown. Brown across the top to Thompson. Thompson under to Jayla Bat. Nice pivot move by Jayla. Doesn't get oh, that one. Yeah. Crozier slammed Elena on the floor. Tyler Crozier, her second. Should be a shooting foul. Yep. That's going to be five for the quarter, so we're going to shoot free throws the rest of the way here. Schmidt going to the line. Looking for her sixth point. That one's short. That one up and good for Emma. Gives her six on the night. Lady's got to play off just a little bit. Yeah. Crozier looking to get by her. Schmidt going to pick up that foul. Crozier's a smart basketball player. She was going to get that foul drawn right back on yep. her. Little payback. Now she's going to go to the line and shoot here. That one up and good. They are five of five from the free throw line tonight. Haven't missed yet. Crozier's second one. It's good too. I was hoping you would jinx that. Well, yeah. <laughs> gives her six. <laughs> Going to be a turnover on the Lady Senators here. Well, Meredith caught that ball and came down kind of funky on her ankle. Yeah. Waynesville going to take the ball out underneath their own bucket. Comes back into Brumley. Brumley a nice drive across to Davis. Davis drives in the lane back to Brumley for two. Knocks that one down. Thompson back to Deaton. Deaton. 
Senators working the ball across the top. Then we're going to turn it over. Yep. Davis pulls that one out. Didn't like what she saw. Hands off to uh, Jane Davis. Adele Brown chasing her out along the top. Going to be five, five seconds. seconds. Yeah. Going to be only the third turnover for the Lady Eagles. I think he counted to nine, but, you know, <laughs> we'll take five. That one inbounded, inbounded to Adele. Brown brings it up across half court. Off to Lily Thompson. Thompson back to Brown. Brown over to Deaton. Deaton for a deep three. I thought she was going to pull she the trigger there. This She's one a little closer. Going to let that one fly. She's feeling it. Keep on Crozier. Crozier going to take the shot. Oh, late whistle. Wow. Crozier was all the way down to the baseline. They called a foul from the three-point line. That one's short. First miss for the Lady Eagles tonight. 35-28, 1.5 to go here. Senator's got a box out. That one no good either. Rebound. Meredith Beaton gives that one a chuck, but Pretty unable to get it there. So that takes us to halftime where the Lady Senators do trail 28 to 35. We'll be back for the second half action here in about 10 minutes. We're going to run some commercials, get our stats together, and be ready for the second half of play. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at youproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community.
It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone. This is Bob Lovell. We're with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig, our weekly conversation with the Commissioner about all things related. Related to the IHS. We are uh, about to embark on semi state Saturday in high school football. I can't believe we're at that point. Girls basketball has begun. Boys basketball will begin in a week. Uh, what an insane time of year to be in the high school sports ranks. No, it's a phenomenal time of year, Coach. And, you know, I, uh, as I got up this morning, I was, you know, counting my blessings along the way. And, and, and it's, it, it is it's just the opportunity for participation from kids that uh, grow up and are in the fabric of their community. And, you know, we, we're, we're certainly winding down the fall, and we're going to walk this mm-hmm. weekend with semi-state football after a phenomenal weekend of regional football last weekend. And then, uh, obviously, the girls' basketball, boys' basketball, wrestling, all of our winter offerings are kicking off. And, you know, it's getting a little chillier outside, so it's time to move in. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're prepared to do that and going to have an incredible winter along the way, too. Everyone who listens to this uh, show that you and I have done for, I've lost track of how many years, is brought to you on the IHSA Champions Radio Network. And, Paul, I think people don't understand uh, how uh, expansive the IHSA Champions Network is, television, radio, uh, streaming. uh, But you can't do what you do to put together a network of this magnitude without having the buy-in of a lot of important people in our state in the media. It's here because of the premise of education-based athletics. Everybody that's involved in this process learned to be a teammate many, many years ago. And you did, I did, and now we continue to work at a team aspect in promoting education-based athletics and the champion and, and the radio network across the state. You know, we have over 90 radio stations from one end of the state to the nether, and it may be a small, uh, locally mm-hmm. owned, just a very one or two people running the show all the way to right. uh, companies like Radio One. And everybody that signs up for this truly understands the value of education-based athletics and how important it is to each community. And we're so grateful for the people who choose to work in this business and promote high school sports in the state because this is different in Indiana. It's different than any other state. My colleagues often will share with me their envy of what we're able to accomplish here and ask me how. And I said, well, it starts with team is uh, my first answer each time. It's a good answer. It also, I think, reflects, you know, we're, we're a small state. Um, you can imagine over the course of 30 years, I've been approached by a number of states in terms of doing something similar to Indiana Sports Talk in Ohio and Illinois and, and other states. And I always start out by saying we're a small state, number one. And number two, what our kids do on Friday and Saturdays really, really, really matters to communities. And so you know, to be a part of, of your network and to be a part of mine on Indiana Sports Talk is is good business. And secondly, it's good great community support and and you have to be engaged and involved in your community because it's important and that's why i think this uh, network that you have is such a, a work of art quite frankly i think that's exactly right coach and uh, you hit the nail on the head when you talk about community and it, it is a work of art but it's just i always want to say it's you know it's Coach, you're, you're the, a big part of this. You know, your vision for this and what you do on Friday and Saturday nights, uh, take a little bit of time away from your family, but you sit there and, and you, 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 you bring the state together in a single format, where and it goes from the Wabash River all the way to the to Lake Michigan and, and the borders on either side. And people are calling in and they're listening to your show. And uh, I, when I'm traveling home, the first thing I try to do is find out where I can get this, this show on this particular night. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Coach, I appreciate the work that you've done in this show. And let's make no mistake about it. You're, you're, you're part of the fabric of this association and the radio network. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one car, two bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur Suburban Home with the two car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Back to live action here on Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do trail by 13 to the number one ranked in 1A Lady Eagles of Lanesville. Senators going to inbound the ball in front of their own bench. Comes across to Shelby Griffiths. Over to Schmidt. Schmidt one dribble. Going to be a travel. Yep. Kerr clenching her chest thinking, oh my gosh, I almost got four fouls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't blame her. Schneider going to inbound. Comes into Kerr. Kerr picked up by Schmidt. Off to Brumley. Brumley looking for Crozier. Crozier drives around. Open shot there. Unable to knock that one in. Bat with the rebound. This is where we talk about. This is where we attacked last time. I think Jayla's just got to go in, dish it off. or drive it into the hole going to be a turnover there. Ava Woods set to check in. Ava checking in for Adele Brown. A little Adele. more size. Adele got Ava some valuable floor. minutes there. Yeah. Kerr brings the ball up. Schmidt doing a nice job of hounding her. Cross to Crozier. Crozier they do that of, double cut. Langsville does that double cut through the through the free throw lane. And yeah. I tell you what, it, it it's usually open. That second one through usually gets something. Yep. Shelby Griffiths almost gets her hand on it. Kerr in the corner for three. That one no good. Woods with the rebound. Going to get the foul on Hilton Brumley. Going to be her first. It was a good box out by Ava. She used Stood big in the middle, got the rebound, had control of the ball. Brumley just came over top of her uncontrollably. Lady Senators across half court. They go to Jayla Bat in the lane, one dribble, unable to get anything to Lanesville. Lady Eagles on the floor. Shelby Griffiths with a three that's blocked. Shelby takes just a few seconds extra when she shoots. To get that one off, that was the, the issue there. They just got to be careful. Let's draw the foul. Lady Senators do a nice job of getting back. Crozier down the lane, kicks to Davis. Davis for three. That one no good. Over to Schneider. Schneider able to knock that one in for two. Deaton across half court. Down to bat. Bat up and good for two. Meredith and Jayla have that They've had it since they was in second grade. They have that <laughs> connection. That's all that winter league basketball That's that right. they played. Schneider out on top with the ball. Hand it off to Crozier. Crozier guarded by Griffiths. Over to Kerr. Need to guard the middle. That's where they get that cut in the middle. Under to Schneider. Schneider puts the ball up. That one no good. Long pass Swings to Meredith. over to Meredith. Got to do something. Shelby the cutter down the lane. Jayla ends up with it. Up and good for two. She's now in double digits with ten. 38-49, Lady Senators trail. And on here we are. We're separating the middle. We need to cover that middle just a little bit more. They're going to do a screen play. It's going to leave that middle right open, that second cutter. Crozier down the line. That one no good. Bat with the rebound. And they turn it over. Crozier coming back the other way. Off to Kerr. A 
it's going to be Brumley taking yeah, her Brumley second foul. Picking up her second. A little bit of sloppy play there with .6 yeah. seconds to go. Here people say foul, people <laughs> say shoot it, people <laughs> say hold the ball. Yeah, it's, something. Something's going to happen. <laughs> Do something. So out comes Schneider. Goes into yeah, Shelby. It. Shelby with the shot. Yeah, Bang! She hit it. She hit it. Oh. We're going to need an instant replay on that. Well, good news. It's that's, running right now. That's good all the way. What do you got, Craig? Uh, we're getting there. Uh, I'll, I'll get it up in just a second. So we'll be back after a short commercial break. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. We're good at Madeline and Chance's just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. It's close. It's close. <clears throat> I don't have one of her <laughs> letting go of it, so that's why I can't really say one way or the other. So I've got it. The, the lights on the backboard are what are in sync with the horn. So I don't have one of it in her hand with that picture in the background, so. I know as it, just as it leaves her hand, it's gotta be on, but I don't know if it was in her hand when yep. it was on, so. Here we go, big fourth quarter for the Senators. Davis in the corner with that one. Back out to Brumley. 38-49, Lady Eagles do lead. Nice move there by Crozier. Crozier leaves that one short. Got to box out. Lady Senator's able to rebound that one. Meredith Deaton comes up the sideline. Tries to kick it back to Shelby Griffiths, unable to do so. Jane Davis did a great job of getting back, stopping Meredith, and then deflected the ball for the Eagles. Shelby kicks that one around to Schmidt. Schmidt one dribble back to Griffiths. Griffiths to Meredith Deaton. Deaton down to. We've got a kick ball. Shelby with a kick. In comes Lily Thompson. Emma putting some valuable minutes in for the Senators. Cross court to Lily Thompson. Up with the floater. That one no good. Ava Woods with the rebound. That one up and no good. You no, know, I like to see Ava just collect herself right there. Just collect herself and go up. Did a lot of great things right there. Just collect herself and go up. Drumling handling the ball. You got Davis open in the corner. Meredith reacts. Hmm. Going to get a shot there. Going to be Meredith's uh, second. Second? Yeah. Yep, second. Davis goes to the line where she's a 67% free throw shooter on the year. First one up and good. Gives her 13 on the night. Davis been the secret warrior for the Lady Eagles tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Barely made it. Barely made it across. Thompson yeah. steps across. To Woods. Woods turns that one over. Kerr picks that one off. And back to the races the other way. Kerr. You know, Craig, and, and nine times out of ten, that play, that pass goes right in there. But yeah. you know, we're playing the number one ranked team in the state. <laughs> They've won 18 games in a row for a reason. Yeah. Davis for three in the corner. Ahead. That one up and good. Emma Davis with 12. Oh, now 
we're in trouble. Ahead to Deaton. Deaton passes it up to Woods. Woods one dribble and then picks up the foul on Emma Davis. Going to be her third. Kind of made something out of a broken play there. Woods gets every bit of the rim, but unable to knock that one in. Back comes out with the rebound. Over to Griffiths in the corner to Thompson. Thompson for three. A little long. No good. Woods with the rebound. Out to Deaton. Deaton for three. Got it. That one good. Meredith's filling it from three-point line tonight. Gives her 16. Thirty-second timeout. We're going to stick with you here, Lady Senators. Uh, trail by what is that? Thirteen. Yep, thirteen points. Five thirty-six left to go here in the fourth. You know, in all in all honesty, you know, we we stuck with you on this timeout, but you know, we're, we're down thirteen. It doesn't feel like we're down thirteen. No, uh, you no. Know, it I, seems I tell you, these girls have come in and played, and you know, if you if you take away the three-point shots, and uh, you know. Uh, that that, that uh, the Lanesville Lady Eagles have had. I mean, you know, that, that throws us right back in the game. But, we, you know, on, on the second hand, we've hit some three-point shots that we normally don't hit either. But, uh, you know, the Lady Centers are fighting, they're battling, they're in there. They, they they look like they know what they're doing. So, you know, I mean, that's that's a great positive thing. Uh, they've got a lot of ambition down here. And, uh, you know, they just got to keep going. You know, the Lady Eagles shot 63% from three-point range in the first half and are 50% in the second half. So they're... They're making their living from the three-point line. That's right. Ball inbounded into the back to Brumley. Given chase by Jayla Bat. Yeah, where's that hand now? Kerr with the drive over to Davis. Davis picked up by Deaton. Back to Brumley. Brumley drives across the court. Off to Crozier. Those are a nice drive. Unable to knock that one down. Jayla pulls out the rebound there. Another one of those quick threes. I don't know why we're shooting them for, but. We're going to get Adele with a three-point miss. Ball inbounded to Crozier, picked up by Thompson. Across the top to Brumley, over to Davis. Kerr, quick drive there, kicks off to Brumley. Brumley pulls back out, trap coming. Over to Kerr Davis in the corner for three. That one no good. Lady Senators give chase, unable to get there. Davis down the lane, gonna get a foul on Woods. That's gonna be Woods' third foul. Jane Davis steps to the line. First one up and no good. First miss of the second half for the Lady Eagles. Lead still at 13. That one no good. Didn't get a good box out there. Davis with the short jumper there. And Meredith's got a box out. Off to Thompson. Thompson crosses half court, picked up by Crozier. Crozier over to Deep, or sorry, Thompson over to Deaton. Then we get a kickball over in the corner, so going to stay with the Lady Senators. Into Brown. Brown knocks that one down. 
good shot. Two pointer in the in the lane. Crozier ahead to Davis. Davis smartly pulls it back out up top. Ava Woods picking her up. Off to Crozier. Crozier looks at the center. Off to Kerr. Kerr to Brumley. Brumley back around to Davis. Nice pump fake there. I'm not sure that we want Woods guarding her. That's exactly what I was thinking. Because <laughs> now we lost her. Meredith Deaton going to pick up her third. I honestly didn't even see where Meredith was on that play. So Yeah. <laughs> Crozier, jumper, that one no good. Woods with the rebound. Brown back to Deaton. Deaton across to Thompson. Thompson to Woods. Woods looks, nothing there. Back to Thompson. Thompson throws right that Crozier. one away. Right to Crozier. That one up and good for two. Kind of one of those anticipation fouls. Yep. 22, Adele Brown picks up that foul. Her first. Crozier going to go to the line. 79% free throw shooter on the year. Elena checking in for Ava. That one up and good. Still a 14-point lead here. Nice cut by Deaton down the lane. Going to pick up a foul. I think Crozier's going to get that one from behind. That's her fourth. Sure would be nice to get her out of the ball game. <laughs> Across the top to Schmidt. Schmidt in the corner to Deaton. That one no good. Deaton with the floater. That one able to be knocked in. Gives her 18 tonight. Senators give pressure. Lanesville smartly pulls that one back out. Crozier handling the ball. Drives all the way to the lane. Oh. It's going to be Deaton's fourth. The thing about Crozier, when she gets a foul, somebody on the other end is going to come back and get a foul too. Oh, yeah. That one up and good. Ava Woods into the game. Crozier goes to the line for her second. That one good. Gives her 13 on the night. Jayla underneath, open for two. Nice find there. Gives her 12. Crozier back out to Davis. Davis pulls the ball out to Brumley. 120 left to go here in the fourth. Woods Garden Kerr. Crozier back to Kerr. Schmidt going to pick that one up. It's Elena's second. Maybe that gives us the five. Yeah. We'll be so shooting. Shooting free throws from here on. Looking to lengthen this game a little bit. Kerr misses that one. Her only a 64% free throw shooter on the year. Senator's going to take a full timeout, so we're going to step aside, have a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. 
Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Back to action here at West Washington where the Lady Senators do trail 59-47 to the number one Lady Eagles of Lanesville. 58.3 left to go in the fourth. Lady Senators trying to lengthen this game with the new free throws. They have reached the five fouls, so um, the Lady Eagles are going to shoot free throws the rest of the game. Wouldn't surprise me to see the Lady Senators come out and, and foul. The Lady Eagles have them uh, try to knock down some free throws. Yeah, I think I think you got to foul some just a little bit to try to keep that score down. I'd like to be in, you know, as a coach right now, you're, you're 58 seconds, you're down that many, and you know if we can keep it within 10, I think that's where we need to be. Kerr back to the line. That one up and good. Senators bring the ball across half court. Off to Jay Labatt. Jay Labatt down the lane, up and good. Gives her 14. Going to be Kerr's fourth. In comes Schmidt for Woods. That one left short, but rebounded by Lily Thompson. Well, he's got to pass that ball. Rebound it, pivot it, and pass it. Yep. So we come back in with Woods, a little offense for defense here. Schmidt a floater, that one no good. Brumley ahead to Davis, back to Crozier. Underneath to Davis, Davis up and good for two. Jayla knocks that one in. Jayla going to pick up a foul there. Just couldn't quite get it shut down in time. He's close. <laughs> going to be Jayla's third. You could see that foul coming from about oh, yeah. a mile away. She was trying to get there, just couldn't quite get it shut down in time. Davis steps up to the line, knocks down the first one. It's one of those fouls you see coming and you hate to see it coming because you know it's going to be <laughs> yeah. pretty rough on the other end whenever yep. somebody catches that ball. 12 seconds left to go. She knocks down that second one, moves the score 64-51. Schmidt comes across half court. Off to Thompson. Thompson over to Deaton. Deaton for a deep three. That one no good. Thompson rebounds. Two three-point misses there to end the game for the Lady Senators. <clears throat> they do end up falling here 64-51. A much closer game than last year. The Lady Senators do end up losing this one by 13, but overall a, a really good game for the Lady Senators. Yeah, you know, I tell you what, coming into the game, I was pretty excited. I'm still, I'm still pretty excited. I, I know I'll be thinking about this one for a while and what we could have did differently, or you know, and and again, like the positive things that we did. You know, we we got out there and we got some girls rotating in, and then we got some other girls in, and and uh, you know, there's a lot of lot of kids got to play tonight. We did a lot of positive things. I think we just got to clean up some of our stuff and uh, be ready for these guys in sectional action. 
Yeah, Lady Senators are led tonight in scoring by Meredith Deaton with 18, followed up by her uh, sophomore duo counterpart, Jayla Batt, with 16. Then two Lady Senators with six apiece. That's Lily Thompson and Emma Schmidt. Adele Brown comes in and chips in three, and Ava Woods gets two points in the game tonight. The Lady Eagles of Lanesville were led in scoring by Jane Davis with 18. Hadley Crozier had 13. Emma Davis with 12. Uh, Hilton Brumley chips in nine, Ava Kerr with eight, and Ellie Schneider with four. So Lady Senators do fall tonight here to the Lanesville Lady Eagles, 64-51. Ryan, final thoughts? Hey, you know what, Craig? A good Saturday night out here. We've been anticipating this thing all along, and we got kind of got it under our belt. We're going to move on, and I tell you, the coaches are going to put some stuff together tomorrow and uh, Sunday day off, and then we're going to come back in here at Salem Action on the Tuesday on night. On Tuesday night. And I, I, you know what? I tell you what, these girls got some fire under them. I, I'm, I'm excited. Let's get this season on the road. <laughs> I love having some home games here. It's been like forever we were on the yeah. road, you yeah. know, for the first five, including the scrimmage. Then we, we have a home set of four, I believe, here. So just kind of in the middle of that home set, like Ryan said, we are here um, Tuesday night at home with the Lady Senators when they do take on the Lady Lions of Salem. Uh, seen Jerry Hickey here a couple of times scouting, seeing what the Lady Senators have um, coming for them. So, uh, you know, nice to, nice to, you know, get into that Thanksgiving break. Right, week. you know, Salem girls coming off a win, you know, last yeah, night. Yeah, they knocked off Eastern uh, by one. Eastern one point last night, so they're going to be fired up. Uh, it's always it's always a big it's always a big thing here. Like uh, Bubba said on the coach's corner there night, it's a it's a big thing. You know, it's it's everybody comes home. Oh, yeah, and everybody comes home gets for Thanksgiving together, and, and you know, it's a, whether you're playing at Salem or West Washington, the gym's going to be packed. Oh, you know, yeah. going into it. Yep, show yep. up early so you get a good seat. That's right, Ryan. I've got yours reserved for you already, so yes, you're sir. you're good. <laughs> 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 Thank you for those of you who tuned in and listened. Um, we are on WWSR and on um, the IHSA. Uh, TV website so if you're looking for the Salem game that's where both of those will be so thank you and we're sending it back to regular programming